back to Ashton here. Of course, keep an eye on all the major headlines. Take a look at this big number caught our eye. COVID-19 weekly pediatric cases here in the U.S. down by 100,000 for the first time. Down, dropped below 100,000. First time since uh, early August we've seen something like this. Of course, Dr. Ash, another sign that we are improving the picture when yep. it comes to this pandemic. That's, That's right. right, and let's continue with some encouraging news about this stage of the pandemic. Two new studies that shed light on the way COVID-19 affects the brain. Right, and what's encouraging is that we are continuing to learn more clinically about how this virus affects us, and in medicine, that is really the first step. So two big studies out um, really looking at the effects of this virus on the brain, on structure and function and inflammation. Uh, the population of this study were unvaccinated. This was before the vaccine was widely available. One of them done in the UK, published in the journal Nature, used MRIs to look at images of the brain, found a reduced brain size five months after even mild COVID-19 infection. Mm. A study done here in the United States published in the journal Neurology found biomarkers showing evidence of inflammation and impaired brain function associated with complaints of anxiety. Again, these are long-term cognitive and psychological effects on our brain function due to this virus. So we are continuing to track this uh, clinically. And as we see, improving numbers so okay. kind of a, a two-way further evidence of what you've been talking about why you do not want to get COVID in the first place. not just a matter of recovering long term right. it can have impact you got it all right Dr. Ash and thank you well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.